Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we will be continuing my Spyrothon with Spyro, a hero's tale. And w one game I don't think I ever played, I don't believe. Awesome. Why are you looking at me like that? Why, why does Spyro kind of have, have, and then suddenly trailer? That's very fast. Hello, Vivendi. I remember you being bad, according to lots of things. Well, I guess let's get an intro. Oh. The dark gems to poison the life of the world. Interesting plot, at least. A new villain. Also, I just realized I forgot to introduce my new PNG tuber because everything just went. Oh, we actually get to play as Hunter. Sergeant Bird's back. I, it doesn't look like he blinks ever. Looks like more... Semi-traditional... Ah, wall jumping. So it'll be interesting to experience all this. I guess I'm going to cut there so there's not too many spoilers. But I did see... Like, uh, some lightning breath. <laughs> at the very least... <laughs> at the... At the very least... It seems like it has more... Like, personality... Than... Like... The last, the last one is. Ah, at least they continued their relationship with Crash, putting putting his trailer in here. I wonder what the Unluckables is. Ah, no Sparrow Heroes till save data. I get because we haven't done anything yet. Sure. Well, what about options? I wonder why we go into a black a black place of doom every single time. Well, I guess once we get in, we'll. Mess around with the cameras if it's weird. Also interesting that he has a lot of, like, or at least a decent amount of look about animation there. Spyro with his weird little half eyes, half lidded eyes, and we didn't even get to see it because it just immediately went to the trailer. Which hey, at least you know what I kind of like that they put the trailer in. It's just kind of neat. I think more games should include the game trailers just in the game. I think that would be interesting. But, uh, I, I got completely thrown off there. So I guess I'll just, like, uh, re recenter myself. Hello, I am Neon Icy Wings. I decided to update my... Or, like, up, yeah, update, I say. Uh, like, uh, make a new PNG tuber that I can swap between. Because why not? And, of course, I don't save it for Super Mystery Dungeon, since it's a Pokemon style. Instead, <laughs> instead, I'm going to make it premiere here on Spyro, a hero's tale. But before we jump in, I know next to nothing about Spyro, a hero's tale. Like, n n not much at all. It has more personality than freaking diddly D bub bub Enter the Dragonfly. Enter the Dragonfly was shit. I hated it, but it it looks like they gave these guys at least some time. Maybe they gave them a month instead of five days to make this game. But yeah, we'll see exactly what goes on in Spyro A Hero's Tale and see how much better it is than frickin' blah, 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 da, da, da. How much better it is compared to the evils of bloody, blood, bloody evils of the Enter the Dragonfly. Because, man, Enter the Dragonfly was so bad. Uh, uh, mercy upon the devs, at least uh, to the most part. How, how, how bad was the crunch? that they didn't have time to properly place down a collision box for the frozen uh, frozen puzzle where you need to freeze a dragon child to jump on them to get a kite. The crunch must have been horrendous. 
But enough rumorating or whatever on Enter the Dragonfly. Let's leave the Dragonfly and instead head in to this a hero's tale. Yes, create more. Continue without saving. You just said, hey, would you like to create save data? Autosave has been enabled. Sure. And I guess just... What's the word? I forget the word. But just to give note, I am playing this on an emulator. Again, mostly because I don't want to deal with setting up my capture card for this kind of console. And plus, it's kind of fun to, like, troubleshoot. Alright, this weirdo kind of looks like Nork. Placing down evil crystals. And that is some stock music playing in the background. The stock background music. It's like, ah, tension. But hey, at least these guys have three forms. Well, I guess four forms. There's a the big guy. And then evil dragon. Which, honestly... Huh. Evil Dragon is imprisoning that guy, and it kind of looked like he was expecting this. Is that a Nork? Already it's more interesting. Already. No, I have not. Exactly. Oh! It is Nasty Nork. That guy years ago. Huh. What are dark gems? Oh, it doesn't sound like they got Tom Kinney back. <laughs> dark gems are the life draining stones that fuel Red's evil power. Also funny that he's just called Red. Just Red. And destroy all the dark gems. But first, go and see Moneybag. He uh, really has something worth buying. Good luck, Spyro. Go see Moneybags. He never has any. <laughs> You're not Zoe. When you see this icon in the corner of the screen, you can have an uh, you have a new s entry in your task list. Interesting. I wonder what my task list is. Probably here. There's a map. Interesting. Well, apparently, we're in the Dragon Village. Jack task list. Task list. Task list. Visit money bags. Visit Moneybags outside his shop. Uh-huh. <coughs> and, uh... Whatever this is. Set one. Oh, this is unlockables. Ember model. Play as Ember. Who is Ember? Humpst. Okay. But I just wanna... I just wanna... Like, at first things first... Can, uh, game, may I, uh... Reverse the, uh... Ba ba ba. Is there a way to reverse? No, it's just camera active or passive, and I don't even know what that does. But, uh, I guess I'll just quickly give my thoughts. It is introduced a lot better than, like, past, like, the last one. The flames look cool. But, yeah, the introduction is a lot better than uh, Into the Enter the Dragonfly. Because of that one, it was just like, ah, we're doing a thing, rip those back. Yeah. Here, they set up, there are dark gems, they show us what the dark gems are doing. They brought back the professor, who's been missing for like two games. That's interesting, but <laughs> clearly the devs have never played a Spyro game before because we all know Moneybags is lay bad. Moneybags has nothing worth buying. The, 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 the running animation is new. The sheep you see wandering around are known as fodder. Most characters will automatically talk to you when you first meet them. To talk to them again, press that. Neat. Uh... Money bags? Are you culturally appropriating again? Ah, Spyro! <laughs> How nice to see you! I 
Collect 500 gems to access Moneybags shop. Okay, at the very least, that is very Moneybags. That is very Moneybags, but, um... Uh, metal chest absorb your flame breath. Okay, see, this is how you do little quick tutorials. Like, you can throw the information out there for the player, but you you don't just autom stop them in their tracks to be like, oh, we do not trust you, player. Follow our whims. But... Why did they un Britishify money bags? What do you what did he even become? Or is this money bags just going literally cultural appropriating? Nah, uh, Spyro gave me a wink. So far the presentation is very nice. Only thing that's weirding me out is Money bags being a different ethnicity, and I just, uh, well, I guess, well, that's not information we need to know. You must destroy all ten dark gems. The, now we're entering in the, uh, the other problem, like, uh, R2 to bring up information. Ah, that, uh, gotcha. Spyro, you can jump onto legends. At least you don't stop me from playing the game when you tell me that information, which is vastly superior. But, uh... I am digging the vibe, at least. <laughs> Buy a lockpick for Sparks. That's interesting. Sparks is the one who doesn't... You cannot get the tall... Do you have the double jump ability? Oh, I can't even glide yet. What? Interesting. I can't even glide just yet. That's weird. I guess he doesn't want me busting on back in. And aside from, like, the super stock sound effect... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and aside from the super stock, like, uh, soundtrack earlier, where it was just the tension strings... The, the music's pretty good. I've gathered up all the prerequisite gems. Money, so what do you mean, new money? What do you mean, new money? And again, it's so weird that they un-Britishified him. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. <laughs> At least they have the spirit of money bags down, but... It's still, again, he has to be culturally, he has to be culturally appropriating something. You are a weird, weird man, bear dude. But, yeah, let's move along. Uh, mm, uh, you talk! You speak! <laughs> Demon! He grew vocal cords since last time. And do we just have the lockpick now? Or do we have to buy it for 500 each time? <laughs> that would be mean. But so far, I am interested. I am intrigued. Fire, fire bomb ammo. Ball lightning ammo. Aqua bomb. Ice missile. Horn dive. Double value gems. Ice Missile Magazine? Extra health unit. Lockpick. Nope, we're out of lockpicks. It is a, a 500 buy again. Keychain for lockpick. And butterfly jar. Huh. I'm intrigued. Hey there, oh, it's always back. That's amusing. I do find it a, a, the voice, the new voice of Spyro to be a little off. Oh, 
I'm, I presume you to be Ember, of whom the... What was it in here? I think uh, it was status screen. Yeah, it, it, Ember model. Play as Ember. I presume you to be. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sylveon jump scare. Exactly. Hello? We have yet to meet you, Maybe and you're already propositioning me. I have yet to meet you. At least you still act like a dragon, but <laughs> very odd, <laughs> pink dragon of whom we have never met before. I'm guessing that this is a- oh, is this a burn burn? No, I guess I, maybe I need a ninja shuriken to open that up. But yeah, I just decided that uh, I would finish up my hypothetical Sylveon P PNG tuber. Because why not? And then, of course, not premiere it when we go back to Super Mystery Dungeon. Now, let's premiere it during the Spyrothon. I did have half a mind to, uh, like, uh, make a dragon PNG tuber, but that would take more work. Who knows, maybe I'll make it in time for, like, uh, Legend of Spiral the Dragon. But so far I am interested in things. So you're the Dragon Elder, eh? Ah, Master Spiral. Elder Thomas. Be setting out to stop Red from using the Dark Gems to take over. Something like that. Hey, who's Red? I've never heard of him before. Red was once an elder like myself. I'd tell you the whole story, but I'm old and I take <laughs> a really long time to tell the story. You are definitely uh, presenting that. How about I just tell you how to destroy the Dark Gems instead? Thank you, Elder Thomas. Ooh, close one. Uh, yeah, do that. To destroy dark gems, you should use your horn dial. <laughs> <laughs> this game gives a better tutorial that the horn dive exists than Enter the Dragonfly did. That, and so far, this is outstripping Enter the Dragonfly in a million ways. I love it. To double jump, XX again. While in the air, to horn dive, press O after the double jump. Interesting, because I believe, but at least now we can do that. Well, that's disturbing. The tentacles got, uh, detentacled. I think the king of lunch grab! Neato! I am already liking this game. It definitely has good vibes to it. The vibes. And we can't go back. Sorry, Ember. No engagement ring for you. On top of the fact that we don't even know you. Like, literally. Who are you? Like, I guess it's kind of neat that they're like, Hey, there are other dragons besides just Spyro who are kind of young. Or like, young-ish. Hello, Hunter. You don't look nearly as terrifying. Spyro, did you know you can use the double jump to glide further? So, double jump and glide already, buddy. If you find a dragon egg and get back here safely, I'll open the door. What? Well, I guess... At least you're not the one holding the egg hostage for this. It's like, hey, go save that egg and then I'll let you pass. That makes more sense. Hmm. To glide, press and hold the X button while in the air. You can do this after jumping or from a fall. Move the left analog stick as normal to control your movement. Oh, I, I failed. I wanted to smiggity smash you, essentially. Strong chest requires something very powerful to open them. And it's not my head, that's for sure. Wait, was that a sm smiggy smash? It's a smiggy smash. Already, the vibes are quite immaculate. Once again, I joke, they must have given this dev team an entire month instead of five days compared to Enter the Dragonfly. 
Once again, I am uh, sorry to enter the, the enter the Dragonfly devs. But hey, at least somebody learned a lesson. Uh, you can look around in first person mode. Yep, we already knew that. Yeah, the vibes already just are very good. I'm liking them. Well, for some reason, either either they changed up the controls and swapped dash and fire, or I am being a dumb. Norks without armor cannot be killed by charging them as they are too strong. You must use your flame breath to defeat them. It is entirely possible that I'm just dumb. It's kind of cool that they brought back the Norks, but instead of just bringing back Nasty Nork, it's like somebody else. Oh, cool. Reset is there. Very nice. So far, vibes are nice. Dang it. Again, I'm not sure if my brain just got fried by Enter the Dragon Fry. But I'm mixing up the dash and burn in my mind. Hello, Nighty Man. The Norks seem to have become more sophisticated. Oh, that's a cute dragon egg. I feel like Ember came out of one like that. Dragon eggs are valuable. Hang on to them. Yeah, they're also precious because they are baby dragons. I feel like that's also an important thing. I think I think Hunter is getting destroyed down there. Oh no, it's just a random guy. Uh, okay, we're getting magma bombs. The longer you hold, the further the bomb will go. So R1. R1, they say. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> and Eon, nice adorable model. Thank you! <laughs> Again, I just randomly thought, hey, I'm gonna finish up my Sylveon PNG tuber. And then instead of saving it for Super, <laughs> Mr. Dungeon, we'll just throw it out here. I just got the, the urge to do so. But interesting that we can spit bombs now. <laughs> ah, now here's the charge guy. Even though technically that metal armor should absorb heat super, super terribly and just utterly annihilate him from the inside. Technically, charging should be less powerful than... anything else. Hmm. But I'm interested, so I'm gonna, like, fly over here and see if there's any... Like, missable treasures down here, of which there are. But yeah, like, the vibes, man! The vibes are good! Oh, hey, fodder. I'm here to kill you. Feed my dragonfly. <laughs> I love that the first thing <laughs> everybody mentions upon entering chat is like, Oh, hey, a new model! <laughs> exactly. How'd you know it was there anyway? Did you lose it? Are you a bad babysitter? Well, thank you, Hunter. Also feels like they didn't get, like, Hunter's old voice back, or maybe they just had him go in a different direction. Either or. Oh, hey, a key chest. Why do you have a battle axe? Not very battle axe -y. You need a- Oh, it's a lockpick chest! Oh, no. I'm gonna be just annoyed. Did you already beat the other game? Yeah, we beat it in one stream, and it was so bad! It was so bad! Just, yeah. Enter the Dragonfly is really, 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 really bad. It is basic Spyro, but worse. Probably because the the poor suckers had crunched to death by, but yeah, but still, so far this is a million times better. We didn't even beat one of the levels. At first, I thought we weren't gonna be able to fight any of the bosses, but we got to fight the first boss. And then, like, 
And because I guess I didn't save afterwards when I uh, later off stream tried to load it up just for like emulator testing purposes, it just loaded me into the boss fight again and it was horror. The ball! Of course, to operate it, you need to collect eight power stars. Of course. Never even heard of those. Oh. Uh, how about red coins? <laughs> no? Mario. Oh, tokens. I'm at a loss, Spyro. Hmm, the heart pieces. Legend of Zelda gold tokens is probably Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit too parody of a joke, but not terrible. Yeah, a little bit too much of a parody, haha, we're a video game joke, personally, but not terrible. Oh, this must be Ember's. So that's how the egg thieves steal all the eggs. You are a terrible nanny. Oh yeah, I found one of those. Maybe I can find all the dragon eggs for you. You know, I'm gonna be out saving the world anyway. Well, at my last count, there were eighty of them. Ten eggs to a set. If you can find Man, them, dragons just get it on, I guess. If ten dragons to a set. Which I guess ten dragons to a clutch. Collect the light gems. Indeed. Well, first things first, I'm here to buy more lockpicks, I guess. Or at least one lockpick. Again, they de-Britishified money bags. He is as money bags as ever, which I am thankful for, but they just made him... Again, my, my theory is that he is just out here culturally appropriating to the max. I did go see Kung Fu Panda 4. I'd say it's average. Could have been better. From what I heard, there was a lot of behind-the-scenes, like... Basically, the person they got to make this movie should not have been the person to make this movie. <laughs> but I'm not a fussy person. That's probably a better way to live life. Instead of my way. Of being kind of hypercritical. <laughs> if I get something wrong with my order, I'm like, works for me. Funnily enough, uh, that tends to be me as well. But when it comes to, like, uh, fiction, like, uh, a piece of media, then I can be a bit more critical. Hello, Ember. Oh, dang it. Hmm. Huh, I thought that would, like, murder me. Now we need to fly above. And then smash. And then magically fix bridge somehow. But I am the protagonist, and also I don't think there's anywhere else to go. There's probably a... ba ba ba. What's the word? A... Rocket. Yeah, there's the rocket. And I'm gonna have to run back and get... Huh. <laughs> gonna have to run back and get another lockpick from... <laughs> De-Britishified money bags. Twitch says, this game is definitely better than Enter the Dragonfly. Oh yeah, that I know. I suffered that in a single five hours of Enter the Dragonfly. Evil. And hello, hello. Skip and I did indeed talk to Ember after I broke it. Again, do does feel like Amy Rose light in a way, but she doesn't seem terrible so far. Plus, again, her idle animation is literally just her like acting like a dragon, which I do appreciate. And then she never comes back again. That that is hilarious. That that is genuinely hilarious. She just stays here forever, not important. <laughs> happy to see your new avatar. Thank you and happy Easter. It's not really Easter yet. Easter should be tomorrow unless my timing is just terrible. Well, give me... Break open the gods. Light gym. 
I just hate social interaction uh, because I'm like on my fourth damn that's crazy and they keep talking. I hate when that happens. I'm like, I want to do something, but if I don't dedicate all of my attention to you, you'll be very annoyed because, oh, you are talking at me, so therefore you own my time. Mm, I hate. Especially if it's something like I have no input on. It's like, I don't really have much to say about what is happening. You're just talking at me. This is not a conversation. You are using me as a journal. Please, steep. But yeah, so far... I am liking the vibes. Never mind, the vibes have come to kill me. Maybe I went the wrong direction. I was say it is tomorrow. I was just saying it in preparation for not being able to say it tomorrow. That's true. Because tomorrow is not a stream day. And yep, Ember is gone. That is kind of hilarious. And kind of sad. Oh. Done it. Oh no, that did for some reason that looked close until I took a closer look. <laughs> I like the vibes. Fails the vibe check, basically. <laughs> the game basically said, you're not, you don't have a dragon PNG tuber, be gone. <laughs> that is what the game said. And I failed again. I'm a fool. Am I just bad at the platforming? Entirely possible. But so that's honestly kind of sad that they just made an entire model for another... Then again, I guess they just based her model off of Spyro and just al altered it slightly. Just to have a, a different dragon for vibes. But I kind of would have liked it if she like actually had more to do in the story. At least so far as Twitch chat has to say that she doesn't come back. Oh, it moves. I thought, I think I tried to stay on it a little bit, but then it just didn't move that fast. So I guess I'm a dumb. I think I got like Pavlonianed by, yeah, I was just very impatient. I'm a fool. Me was like, I can fly. I can glide. I'm a dragon. Ah! Gotta go fast. I'm a dragon. I mean, we have Amy Rose here. Well, I guess we don't have Amy Rose anymore. She's just gone. Very rude. Evil plants of evil. I can't even kill them. All of that... F oh. All right. Evil traps are here now. In the dragon lands. <laughs> yeah, just color Spyro blue, and we have Dragon Sonic. Well, I guess let's talk to you, deep Britishified money bags. It is in it is in character for him, but ow. Ah, for the secondary fire, you can carry five more. Restores sparks to full health. That's very expensive. I wonder if that power up's even good. Teleport pass allows you to move to uh to teleport to a previously activated remote shop pad. It's probably one use. <laughs> Inflation, exactly. Hmm. Like, is the power-up even worth it? It probably is. I'm just worried that it's like, oh, you die. The two times gym is not permanent? That is all I need to hear. It's on a timer, too? That is so mean. It should tell you that. Like, I guess, oh, it's a power-up, but still. But the best. Increase the range of horn dive. It g <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Wondering if there's anything I should buy. 
Guess I'll buy one. Why not buy more? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because let's see. The two things carry up to three lockpicks. A keychain and an extra health unit. Hmm. So you mean the butterfly jar does say restores sparks to full health. And there doesn't seem to be anything else. Oh no, there's the extra health unit. Allow sparks to withstand an extra hint, so good. We'll definitely uh, go for that first, I think. Because I think it's cheaper too. Definitely rude of them to be like... Not give information. Yeah, we'll have to blast that with a... With a nuke. <laughs> Did a little jig and then he died. Alright, we're super gods. We just move. We are people of mass destruction. Oh, that's very rude. Exploding boomerang man. God dang it, I didn't hit my double jump. Hmm. I didn't even realize that those are like, uh. steps I can jump on. Hey, Bat, do you want to come over here so I can potentially kill you? Because I assume that you're the fodder of this area. I long to heal my boy. The music is kind of nice. Doesn't have that, like, slight bit of Spyro to it like Inner of the Dragonflies did. But at the same time, I can only imagine another you know, dragonfly was so utterly terrible that so many people just like, I don't want to, I don't trust you anymore, Universal. You kind of did some bad things. All right, just wanted to make sure that wasn't a chargeable. And he's at the ready. But he wasn't ready enough. He wasn't ready for me. Ah, and then I can destroy this. Or not. I guess I need a... S ah, I need that cannon, probably. I do hear shining shins. Alright. <laughs> cannon time, I guess. Oh, I thought that was like an ammo meter. For a moment. Interesting. Destroy that tower. Open the way. I uh, don't see anything else to destroy in there. Very neat. Again, something must have happened in my brain because charge and fire is swapped in my head. And when enemies die, they respawn with gems again? That's cool. I guess because they added in a shop that you can buy from, they figured let people grind, I guess. That's not too bad. Uh, cannon time. Luigi's death stare in Mario Kart is the sole reason I main Luigi. He's a funny little thing, ain't it? Oh, there was a guy that spawned. I shall kill you. You dare spawn in my neighborhood? Even though I think I'm invading your neighborhood? And what the hell is over there? The sun? The supercharged gadget. is a device that will allow you to charge with extra strength and speed. You'll find it useful smashing through reinforced doors and breaking open strong chests. Neat. I need 40? Jesus. 40, huh? 
hopefully the collecting of them will be nicer than dragonflies. Oh, shit! I, I, yeah, big. I wanted to do the horn, like the bubble ball. The horn smash. I wanted to do that, but I guess I was too in the, the zone of like, or not in the zone, but like too into the bubble ball. Too into the charging, so they're like, or not the charging, too into the flying, so they're like, nah, nah, nah. not today, Spyro. All right, murder time. Let's, let's get those gems. I need to get used to the platforming. <laughs> Speed. Okay, exploding boomerang. Bastard. Stop. Now you stop that! And did we buy one? I guess I should just always have lockpicks on me. My bad. Yeah, so far things are quite nice. Feel free to browse my Feed my dragonfly! So that he can be nice, big, and strong. Ready for murdering you. <laughs> you always have lockpicks on you, because there's chests everywhere. That is what I've come to realize. Did you nya at me, Zoe? What the- Hello, Satan? Hmm. Now my- for some reason this place tickles my, is this the way to go, or is this, like, uh, a side area? There was a crack in the wall that I missed. I wonder where. Ah, right here. That actually blended in a lot. Oh, these guys drop firebombs. Well, I picked the right- <laughs> I guess I picked the right way to go. I have four now. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a thing there. We'll come back this way after buying another lockpick and checking out the other path. Oh wait, <laughs> completely wrong way. I am a fool. <laughs> egg, not really egg. Unless you mean, like, that's a dragon egg out in the distance for me to collect them, probably. But if you mean the firebomb, nah, the firebomb's not an egg. It's a firebomb. Feel free to browse my fi I've browsed your wares, and I've decided I do not want them. Yeah, since there's this cave after this chest, then we'll at least check out, see... How things go. <laughs> oh, how dare you model that and not let me stand on it? How dare? Now I need to be, like, careful looking for cracks in the walls. At all times. This place seems a lot more open. Alright, the demons have thrown bombs at me. How dare. There's a black and yellow egg uh, when you're looking off the ledge. Oh. Like, I think I saw something, like, off in the distance, or maybe it was closer and I'm a fool. But since that place seems a lot more open, we shall go the spider way. I need to get used to the platforming, because there's a little bit of glide. Yeah, because there's that way, and then the way we came. I'll check out this path first. Clear out the spiders. Some spider genocide up in here. Man, they, I thought they were going to have, like... 
I thought we'd only be able to carry five bombs with us. That's why there's like a five bomb upgrade satchel thing. Magazine. I feel, I feel like that's a trap. Oh, that's not an egg. That's evil. Oh, is this just a spawn point for you? I, I guess this just a... Oh, I wonder if I can blow these up with the, the bombs. I need to aim. Cannot do that with the bombs. Sadness. I have been robbed. Hello and welcome to the Swamp of Evils. We come for the egg. They come for your soul. You'd think that a, a, a like a firebomb would actually blow those open. Hmm. Plus, you'd also think that a firebomb would destroy their hideout. I wonder why they have a respawn anyway. Aha! I knew that that looked like a thing that could do! Damn it, I charge again? My brain? You're still flipping the dipping it. My brain is still, like, on one side feels like, ah, that should be charge. When no, it is not, for I am a fool. I almost did it again. I don't know why. Maybe it is flipped, maybe it's not. My brain is just mush. But at least these guys turn into gems still. So I get a small return on investment. Oh, yeah, that gets people sometimes, the charge and flame being swapped. So I'm not insane! I am a very intelligent Sylveon. I've just been fucking Pavlov'd! Why would they do that? Why would they do that? It feels so mean. I feel like this is a thing. Why would they put a hole there in distance of flying? If I'm not a meant to fly, I feel like it could be a thing. And how do we break you? Like, I know this, like, gyms aren't the be-all, end-all now. But I feel like I'm missing a firework. Also, is it just me, or does Spyro's fire last longer? And also, I can kind of spam it. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Hmm. There's not a firework in this area. Then I guess that's for, like, the, the supercharge that we're meant to get later. Eventually. Or perhaps never. Because we need to get 40! Light gems. A.K.A. red coins. A.K.A. power stars. Ah, yourself, plant man. Is this going to be timed? I feel like it's going to be timed. But already this has so much more personality than... Enter the dragonfly. Spin, spin, spin into a burning ring of fire. So yeah, we need 6,000 and some change and 6,000 and some change. Oh, this is not timed. Yay. It's just I have been trained that whenever something happens far off in the distance, there's like a 50% chance for it to be a timed thing. Devour them. Devour them, Sparks. Devour the butterfly, Spox. Become whole. Spox was being very picky there. What a picky eater you are, dragonfly. Aww. 
So far, things are very nice. Oh, well, we're not going that way. That's a forward way. There's still things over here to do. Like brain bash this. Well, if you actually go back to the Dragon Village, you can get both of them cheaper at 5,000. That's true. For those kinds of things, it does seem like going back to the Dragon Village is probably the best idea. And then for, like, lockpicks, just bite the tax. I probably shouldn't have killed you. Ah, but you uh, freed the way. So killing you is actually the right answer. There was an egg in that. Eh. Who would put an egg in a chest? That's not where eggs go. I just... Brain went to a place, and it said, uh, if dragons had breasts, would they have the slang term for them called eggs? I wonder what these are. Get ignited? Why are they stopping? <laughs> Why are they stopped? <laughs> uh, did something bug? Well, I def something bugged in my brain. Well, at least we get to kill these guys for extra gems. And I don't think there's even, like, a... ba 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 like, a health system beyond Sparks' health. There's not, like, a live system, I should say. So I get infinite cash up in here. But so far, my main enemy has been me. And the platforming. But yeah, those just hanging in the air. They weird me out. They disturb me. Oh, that's why. It's a backwards trap. Well, that's double mean. Why do they, how dare they swing at me when I'm in the one swinging through the air? I wonder if that means I didn't get the gym. We'll have to go check. And plus my pride says I should make my way back. The main problem is that, like, uh, the, the double jump makes the platforming feel a little odd. And plus it feels like Spyro takes a l moment longer. Oh yeah, I guess I should buy another lockpick. But plus it feels like, oh, I should use bombs more. I'm an idiot. I should use bombs. <laughs> Hoping your recovery from Into the Dragonfly is going well. This game so far, very nice. Very, very nice. Well, no point going that way. And Twitch chat says I need Electro Breath for all those, so we shall not bother for now. Huh. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Ah, uh, classic Legend of Zelda. Or, well, that would be Link one. I forget which one. Like what it's called. The Faces of Evil. CDI. Oh no, they're so dangerous. I can walk around them. A part of me wonders if there's any cracks in these walls that I'm missing. Because I'm already blind to the cracks normally. Now they're just a bunch of bricks. Then again, you feel weird. Being like the... Could be the coloring, I don't know. But yeah, so far my only gripe is why change... Like, well, damn it, why? Plus also, how dare that be a one-hit? But mostly it's the annoyance at the uh, swap of charge and flame breath. 
That just seems like a weird choice to me. Oh, hey. These are called spin poles. You can use the. Uh, you can't use them yet. You have to visit elders somewhere in this swamp. Spyro longs to learn how to pole dance like a real dragon. Again, I did it. My training is being used against me. But let's go, everybody. We have to teach Spyro how to pole dance. By showing off those dragon nuts, he'll get enough gems to buy all the upgrades. Oh, hey, it's you. Blinker, I think they called you. Just blink. You need to go back to the 90s. You think because I'm a mole, I must know every other mole in the world. Um, yeah. I'm just kidding you. That's how it works in all the worlds. Oh, God, blink, says Twitch chat. Yep. I bet I'd make a great sidekick. You're too 90s for this. Fresh aerophobia? Fresh aerophobia? That's right. I actually have a fear of not being trapped deep underground. Some Do you want to try for a dragon egg? That's how it makes it. S were it from anybody other than Blink, I would say that they were going to go for a dragon egg the, the, the natural way. But again, Blink is far too 90s kid sidekick. Explore the underground tunnels to destroy the dark shards. What the fuck? Sparks has laser beams! Win! Sparks has been holding out on me. The music is neat at least. Laser blaster. It, oh, <laughs> every single time I was doing it and I was kind of walking it, it looked like it was coming from Sparks. I'm sorry, Sparks, but you kind of <laughs> look like it. Just destroy everything from a distance. Very rude. Bomb dispensers will give you a stock of bombs when you run out. You can come back to any bomb dispenser. But that's bad. All right, so they are actual bombs. Interesting. The wall jumping's kind of neat. Oh, you take multiple hits. I wanted to drop a bomb there. Oh, that's why I can throw it farther. But I'm an idiot. Goodbye. Again, why do you exist with your little traps? Well, I guess we should check out the other way down here. I hit myself of a bomb, and he hit me too. I feel like these guys hit me way too often. I demand restitution. Cash now. I can respect that they at least are trying to kind of make it... Oh, dang it. Well, there are things down here anyway. Get bombed. More bombs. 
More bombs! I do think that the turning is a little over-enthusiastic on the camera. I, it's weird that sometimes it feels like I can charge up and other times that I can't. Maybe it's because I'm moving. Who needs blasters? I have bombs that can potentially kill me. They're very low yield. He made the, a the animation of him throwing a bomb, but then he didn't. It's Blink, the mad bomber of the underground. Also, wait a minute. Who put Blink into the... Who put Blink-182 into the into the cage? Who did it? Why was he put into a cage? Did all the other moles hate him? Not include him in their other mole reindeer games? At least I didn't need you. Oh, wait. So he's Spider Mole. I wanted to look at his thing. Hmm, but that's another way. We are being an assassin right now. Far more tactical. Hope there's not a respawn. Ah, but there is a respawn for Sparks! Ha 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 ha! So far, I'm not minding this guy's gameplay. Let's see. I need to... I need to hold on for my mole life! Dang it! Dang it, Mole Man! You needed to annihilate that with a bomb, but then gravity got in the way. Eh. I'm still getting used to, like, the small intricacies of jumping. Do I jump and hold? Do I need to jump twice and hold? And then obviously I don't need to hold on by holding the button. But I need to run. For massive destruction. But I can definitely see how the levels might get worse from here. But so, like, if they try too hard to make it difficult. Huh. Oh. Neat! So if I want to suicide bomb, I can. Are you gonna come close enough for me to grab you, wall? Again, it's kind of odd. Interesting, I guess. Duck and cover! The mole nukes are near. Maybe after we get out of here, we'll be able to get one of those uh, quality of life items from money bags. Guess while I'm here, I can snipe some dudes. Dang it. Also, you have stupid round feet. Mole man. Come on, shoot his legs out. Shoot his legs out. Spider Mole, Spider Mole. He will come and invade your hole. Ah, so there, there is a way to get back up here. Good. Duck and cover! Oh, 
Oh, but I'm not done, game. There's more gyms down there. Darn you, game. I thought I was supposed to go back up. That's kind of mean. It's like Neo. Oh, you did the main objective. You have to leave now. But there's more to do. Now nah, nah, you have to leave now. But there's more. There's more to do. Now nah, you got to get out of here. I found you a dragon egg. But I'd love to get out of this fresh air and look for something even better. That was a shining blue dragon egg. Sure, we, we'll go down and get a light gem. We'll, we'll get another, like... Oh, there's ten now. Now that I have, like, the basics down, they're like, now we can throw the horrors at you. And we can punch. Huh. I completely forgot that we can punch. Doesn't seem like the. Oh! Huh! Did not expect that. Alright, you, you, you're a mean. You're a mean one. Fucking plant. I did it again. Oops, there I go. Almost dying again. Can't believe that mole is a god among men. Mole, the unkillable man. At least they just stay there. It's not like they're going to charge at me. And I'll just, eh, uh, sensitivity on that. I think I did discover that, but then I, like, uh, doesn't, don't really need it all that much. Hmm. But it is nice to know. Thank you for telling me. Just want to make sure there's not a hidden evil out here. And dang it, I need to throw more. Need to get my throwing arm in. Hiya! Hiya! Just keep throwing. I have an infinite supply of bombs. That was too close for comfort. <laughs> I threw a bomb so hard it went to the wall and just didn't detonate. And then we'll snipe you because we can. Snipe you because we can. Drop off the bomb at daycare. Interesting. Uh, uh, I guess the collision box on that was a little too close. But I can definitely feel that this is a tad bit undercooked compared to Spyro's gameplay, but not terrible. Unless they crank up the difficulty too bad later on. Then it can become terrible. But also, it feels like there isn't any healing item, uh, it, like healing fodder in here, so I'm scared. Oh, no, here's he healing fodder. Haha, -ha, healing fodder galore. I will never die. I am immortal. I am the immortal mole. Spyro's too true nemesis. All right, just drop a bomb. I wanted to stick around just in case that wasn't close enough to actually destroy that dark gym. Ooh. 
Let me in. I am a mole. Place down the bomb. I need to be careful because now I know... Completing means leaving the level. Ah, for a moment there, I thought there was a li range limit. There's not. Ha ha! Get sniped, idiot! We'll follow the dancing walls just to be safe if there's anything up here. I'm Spider Mole, and I will kill you. The power of Spider Mole will never be matched. Not even Batman can stop him. I almost made a horrible, terrible mistake. But then my master platforming skills came in handy. And I ruled the world. Get shot at! Although I do find it kind of funny, they just put, like, three more dark gems roughly along the path that you already take to get to this point. So it's not like much was done. But as chat was saying, I can throw a bomb. Oh, that actually landed. Ha-ha! Sniping power! And who even needs to get to you? I can throw a bomb. I said I can throw a bomb. Shit, I guess I have to get close to you. Hmm. Just making sure there isn't like a floating wall. Because that feels like quite the jump. Hmm. Eh. God, it's so close. Who needs platforming? I have arms! Spyro? <laughs> he was kind of just walking towards him. Do you want to play again for fun? No, thank you. Now I just need to find the, uh... The resident elder, so Spyro can learn pole dancing. Hey, Spyro, over here. I think I still have my... Feel free to browse my fire. Yeah, because it's, it's blanked out because I can... I already have all... Dark music plays within there. <laughs> and that was Blink. Would be borderline hilarious if he never shows up again. Oh, yeah, another Dragon Elder. Spyro, darling, <laughs> you need to learn as much as you can to help you in your quest to find Red. Well, I don't know anything about Red. The professor said he was something from the past. Who is he and what did he do? Oh, such a story. How much time do you have, sweetheart? <laughs> Red was part of the Order of Dragon Elders until his jealousy and hunger for power led him to try and overthrow our leader. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you, Spyro. Confidence, you know. But before you leave, I will teach you how I do like the dragon voices kind of are reminiscent of like the Spyro 1 dragons. And of course they have the flamboyant dragon teach Spyro how to pole dance. Learn that pole dancing, Spyro. Learn the ancient skill of dragon pole dancing. <laughs> I 
And he has to pole dance to get up to- <laughs> That guy has to pole dance to get up to his bed. Why does he have a power gym? I did it again! Yeah, so far, has been very nice. Ooh, we can run back and get one of the upgrades. If we really desire it. Oh, wait, there's a wooden door that I can charge. Is this it? It almost didn't look like a wooden door. We'll look out and see if there's anything else here. But no, it just seems like this is... Oh, there's a new... There's a thing... Hmm. It almost feels like, uh, no, I might be able to get it. Let's, let's give it a try. Oh, nope, there was a doorway thing. Ha-ha! <laughs> the fireworks spawned an enemy. Uh, it's probably just draw distance, but it's still hilarious. This is a cool mechanic. I like it, and I'm a fool. Oh, well, any chance to see Spyro pole dance? Smash. Okay, I guess we'll quickly head back to... Uh, that was weird control thing to happen. I was trying to go forward and Spyro did a spin. Spin! I'll take your gems too. We'll quickly head back to the dragon village. I'm sure I could probably take like the teleporter. Also, you know that brick uh, brick wall? There's a different color brick you can charge into. Well, it depends on which brick wall. I passed by a few. I presume these brick walls. Because this is a... Hmm. Especially, it doesn't help that, like, the walls already feel differently colored. Ah. I feel like that could have been a little more changed. Plus, this helps about with the backtracking. Allows me to get a few more gems as well. I feel like sniping a... A carnivorous plant from above should uh, utterly annihilate it, but oh well. I will not buy hyper expensive upgrades from you through the internet. Because buying in person is more convenient somehow. I do like how long the fire goes. It just feels nice. We can just run past them all. I'm not afraid. I'm just a dancing, dancing, dashing little dragon. Although killing some of these enemies would probably be good for my wallet. The evil plants are quite evil today. Oh, wait a minute. Will I not be able to make it back through... Oh, no, because this isn't that way. I was thinking of, like, the, the gate around the Dragon Elder. That kind of closed us off before. Also, I just realized, like, 
an hour later. But the reason Ember probably says, no, Spyro, don't go to the swamp. If you do, I'll probably never see you again, was meta commentary on the fact that the developers knew that Ember would indeed not appear again for the rest of the game and therefore would indeed never see Spyro again. That's almost mean spirited. Hmm. Allow sparks to withstand an extra hit is good, but I honestly feel like being able to carry around, like, three lockpicks I have? Um, because I guess, no, because uh, this one isn't too bad. This one's probably the best overall, because really, then the other one's more of a general convenience, so I'll get the extra health unit first. We'll destroy a fodder to bring him back up. Multiple fodder, even. He didn't heal, because he's a fool. Eat the butterfly. Become like God. Also, utterly baffling that Sparks got like one line and has said nothing since. He just flashbangs me with speaking a line like an actual living thing. And not just bloop, 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 bloop. And, and he hasn't said a single thing since. It does make me wonder like how long this game actually is. You can just use the teleport to go back for uh, to Crocodile. Oh, I probably should have. Oh well. Well, you see, Spyro is very, I forget what's the word, frugal? I don't think it's frugal. But he's very good with his money. Unless it's buying lockpicks. Then it's like crack. But I'll definitely buy teleporter stuff next time. Get obliterated. We gotta save up to get that keychain. How does a boomerang even explode? Gotta dance around these spikes. Which honestly don't look that dangerous with the speed they're going. The wall ones, sure. Those ones, not as, not as much. In YouTube chat, there is, I'm back. Huzzah for being back. We just bought a health upgrade. So now we can adventure even more. Also, Sp Spox didn't eat his food again. Unless this is his super leveled up form. Nope. Let me see. Do you have an extra form or are you full up? He's full up. Good, good. I just want to make sure that I'm not a fool. Just checking out this area to make sure there isn't anything special I might have missed. Since we're running on through anyway. Again, I'm used to the old flame and rush. Why did they change it? Hurts my sir. Do a little dance and then die. I'm gonna head this way, because I think it leads to places and things. Damn you! And they just go away. Why? How dare? How many hits can you take? I honestly don't know. I haven't counted. And this is on the PlayStation 2? Indeed it was! <laughs> honestly, may buy this? If it is, if you buy any of the <laughs> them so far, this one is at least... Uh, shit, I... I don't like that they go up and down so slowly. Like, come on, pick a lane, game. Either have them move or have them not move. 
Like, have them move good or have them not move, I should say. Gonna let them begin this cycle. Also, it doesn't help that it feels like these... Like the wibbly wonkiness. Okay. I do not like the speed of which those move. Hurts my soul. But yeah, compared to like... <laughs> Enter the Dragonfly, this is at the very least so far... Much more engaging, interesting. Not sure how well it compares to the other Spyro games just yet, but... It's definitely not bad so far. Except... Well, that's very mean game. I think there are four to five different areas slash worlds. Hmm. I wonder if that includes the... Dragonland. Because right now we're in the Croco Swamp. Huh. Destroy all the dark gems. Then again, and visit Fredneck the Frog. He might help you get out of back out of the swamp. I guess we're gonna run into Fredneck the Swamp. Play as Flame? Who's Flame? Interesting. So there's 80 eggs, 40 of those, and 100 diddly dees or something. But I'm still the most excited to eventually get to the Legend of Spyro. Because I don't know. There's something about it that captivates my interest. The light wobble of these things annoys me. Dang it. Destroy. Get burned, man. Alright, there's a switch we need to hit or something. Um... Hmm. Oh, I can charge into it. Hmm. I don't know why. I felt like <laughs> a flame should work there. I don't know why. And now we're back here. Oh, yeah, because we can pole dance now. Now, welcome to hell, Spyro. Where there's jumping spiders who want to come for your dragon ass. How did you miss? I didn't even kill you. All right, that's kind of cool. It's pitch dark, fire lights up the textures. Very nice. Hi, how's the Spyrofon? Well, this part is going much better than Enter the Dragonfly. At the very least. Man, the Legend of Spyro Saga is so overhated. That's the kind of vibe that I get from what I remember. I mean, funnily enough, I just got done, like, two streams ago, uh, finishing up another game that's generally overhated, but it's actually really, really good. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. That was super good. Super, super good. So far, the, so far the only like the only two games that I've played on stream that I've either hated or really am conflicted about is the aforementioned Enter the Dragonfly and Assassin's Creed Three. Assassin's Creed Three is so wonky and weird. <laughs> Kinky Spider's going for Spyro, as is most of the world. Really, I liked your playthrough. It was very fun. Hello, Frederick, with your pipe going through your lip. One of, he says, he awakens multiple. 
dang plot critter keep running off with my food. I ain't eating. Hurt near a week now. That seems bad. There's a reward in it for you if you can reward off my land. I got these old war cannons you can use. I do it myself, but the smell of gunpowder makes me Sure, let's blow things up for a dragon egg. I have <laughs> All right, I guess keep the things from the supplies. Protect Frednick's supplies from the critters and swamp bats, and you shall be rewarded. Yeah, fire. I guess it'll just be like the thing. Ooh, radar. The radar at the bottom right uh, shows you where the enemies are in relation to your turret. White dots that appear outside the green are off screen. Ah, shit, they spawned in hordes. Oh, it's because they're few. Be gone, bats! No one loves you! These fruits are not yours, you motherfuckers! Not fruit for you! My fruit! Reveal yourselves and die! <laughs> Honestly, not a bad minigame so far. Better than the tank game. You can just hold down the button and call it a day. That's nice. That's a cathartic thing. I think I was expecting it to be a bit difficult. Nice shooting, Dragon Purple. Here's the reward I promised you. A dragon egg. I would edit myself, but the dang shell on this thing's hard as a rock. I like that. That's a bit of lore, kind of joke joke lore, but still. Hey, this will get me ten light gems, I think. Now to go oblivion hunting. <laughs> Gun down the monsters! Kill them in the name of Frederick Frog! <laughs> We must protect Frederick the Frog's food, else he will starve and he will die. And that'd be bad. Then we wouldn't get our light gem. I know that you're out there. Hands off the food! Get your claws, your tongues, your wieners off this man's food! Like, why are you even trying to get it? You see, you see the dead bodies piling up out here, right? <laughs> that one was smart and waited for the gunfire to stop. Only took me 17 minutes, uh, 17 minutes, 17 seconds longer. <laughs> pirate neon voice hitting different. I didn't even mean to do a pirate voice. <laughs> you saved my middle. Take this here light, Jim, for your trouble. He should have said troubles. Makes it rhyme with fiddles. Hey, I ain't got nothing more to give you, but if you're having fun, you can go again. I mean, if that's what you really want. <laughs> no, thank you. Already, that was better than, like... The mini games and like, well, kind of like uh, the extra like gameplay. I the double jump is a little wonky to get used to in this game, but so far the extra gameplay things have been so much better than Enter the Dragonfly. Just so much, so much better. Completely and utterly. Now I just need to remember where the hell the rolling ball thing was. I guess we can take the teleport. Ah, there you are, my favorite Wallace. 
My favorite water. Oh, we can only take it around here, then. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we need a supercharge to get in there. Let's see. Because we need to get to the Dragon Village. Oh, I guess we're already kind of there, I think. Oh, I can just switch between them on that map as well, probably. I'm a super dumb. Feel free to browse my fine wells, Spyro. There we go. Spend. Thank you for the information. Enter the dragon far by far the worst? Most definitely. Most definitely. Because whatever gripes I have with, like, uh... Ba ba ba. Because, like, sure, I have some gripes here or there for, like, uh, the third and second games here or there. But not nothing's terrible. Enter the Dragonfly is just so bad. Give unto me the power of the gym. Well, too jokey, if you ask me. Okay, Spyro, just step onto the pad and activate it, and the ball gadget will materialize. Hopefully it doesn't turn me into the ball. Kind of, sort of. What the f fuck? Ah, the controls on this thing! Or wacky and weird. Did Crash Bandicoot invent this? And I can... I can jump. Okay, I did not know that I could jump. Oh, hey. There's another path. Well, not another path. Just... I didn't... I didn't. Oh, I can stop. And I can supercharge roll. Woo! Seems low stakes enough to be this crazy. I just want that one gym. All right. Very confused. <laughs> we monkey ball now. We needed light gems to power this. Or maybe this is just what happens when you don't get enough red coins for it. I guess we're going to come back around, I guess. My brain was stuck in a in a circle. My brain just hyper fixated on that. I was like, we need to get it. <laughs> Excuse me. That looks like the end. We don't want to end. We want to get all the gems that we can. Interesting that it says select no to exit. I was confused there for a moment. And now we're in Dragonfly Falls. Interesting way to, like, move things around. Or, like, move Spyro around, I guess. Give me your soul. Obvious break in the wall. How dare you taunt me, game. Knowing that the only way that I would see it is if it's the only thing in my sight. You mock me. 
and rightfully for it. But yeah, so far, like, the graphics have been nice, the gameplay has been nice, the story's kind of been, aside from that start, the start was really good story-wise, but uh, there hasn't really been much story after. But maybe we'll get a cutscene. Maybe we'll actually have a one-on-one -on -one with uh, uh, Red here in a moment. But I get the feeling that... Like, uh, this Red guy is just gonna be Nasty Nork 2. He's just here to cause trouble and be an enemy. Not real, like, even less so than the Enchantress and, uh, Ripto in their, uh, like, debut games. Nasty Nork, uh, so, so yeah, so if he is just, like, Nasty Nork 2, a little disappointed, but... Oh, well, I guess. Ah, I think I missed a chest. The problem with stream delay is I don't know how far back that means. Which means check everything. It's definitely not here. I don't think anywhere else. Probably meant that one too. But I knew that I would be returning. Ah, huh, interesting. I didn't realize that there were like little statues up there. With dragon faces. Or not dragon faces. Lizard faces. <laughs> Weird that we have to make the distinction. I can't believe... Are black sheeps the super health in this game? I guess I should buy a... Oh, I can't buy. And I'm still going to save up for the other upgrades. Oh, hey, it's the shepherd guy again. It would be funny if he, too, charged at me. I would have found that amusing. He's like, Ah, you killed my sheep. I'm gonna charge at you myself. Ah! I think that would be amusing. Alright, no idea what upgrade we'll need to blast that door open. But apparently we're setting up for it already. Oh, cannon. Duh. I'm little but a fool. Cannon is here for murder times. Oh! Damn it. Destroy the door! <laughs> the door must be destroyed. So that we can go in and collect the treasure. And the more treasure. It's over here. Now this, this is a horde that you would take a lady dragon back to and make a ton of eggs with. Just utterly beautiful place. Obviously, it seems that we can run about here. More chests. Is there anything hidden behind the waterfall? No, you betrayer. So it seems like there was just like one chest down here, but still, better than some. But yeah, just like, it is just utterly night and day with this game compared to Enter the Dragonfly. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Neon. Do you have any expressions on this rig? How dare you imply that I have no expressions on this rig? Utterly contemptible! It's just I haven't had much reason to use them just yet. I think I got turned around. Nope. New murder. I did it again. Why did they swap the burn? 
Like, seriously. Even Enter the Dragonfly kept them the same. Was that their singular, hey, we're going to change something to make us feel unique? <laughs> But otherwise, everything else has been pretty good so far, I'd say. Need to be careful. Because these guys just seem to swing randomly. Thank God he swung randomly early. Would have been the death of me. Soon we'll be able to get that key ring. <laughs> key ring. <laughs> Lockpick ring. Those expressions were lovely. Thank you very much. I should probably add a few more expressions. My cat one has a lot more expressions. Dang it. I do believe that they should have kept the head smash to the, like, a, like Y button slash, like, a cr uh, triangle. I don't know why my brain had trouble finding triangle because you tried to dash midair and that happens Dang it. But yeah the two expressions that I definitely like well few expressions I need to add are like uh, a crying one even though I've, I, I've never actually used the crying one in earnest on the cat rig but, like, an angry one. Like, anger, fury, and smile sad. Like, a few things like that. We need a few more expressions on here eventually. Ah, he turns red now when we get hit down to the last. I wonder what this is. Apparently one doesn't want me to go. You can dash in the air, but only from single jump. Mm. But still, it does seem a bit odd for them to change, like, even the dash. Or, like, uh, the head jump thingy. Maybe, like, a different power-up has something to do with that button, then. Damn it. Aw, oh, there's no- there's no immunity frames. How dare. How dare no immunity frames. Much evil. At least I think I can make it over here. In which we smash yo! <laughs> cannon! From the power of cannon, we bring war! Oh, that's cool. The vegetation comes back a little bit slowly. Bring down the cannon! So that we can use another cannon for murder. We will bring warfare to this world. Uh, let me just take out the birds. Come on, birds. I've got a bomb with your name on it. Get annihilated. <laughs> Death to the birds! Hmm, do we go all the way of the in... Well, I just killed those birds! I guess they decided to come back. <coughs> I'm guessing that I had to kill those birds to make those ones evacuate. Or maybe me getting close was enough for them to go, Oh fuck, a dragon's here. I forget the exact quote, but re always remember 
the engineer. And if that don't work, use more gun. 70 light gems to open this door to a secret area. How dare. Very rude. It's so secret that you need to pay a toll to get in. Oh, that's a cool statue. Get burned alive, fat man! I'm here for real, for real now. We went, we met a mole. Spyro learned to pole dance. We'll go ahead and smash this because we're in the area, see what it changes. I guess... I can't believe Engineer TF2 is secretly Spyro, a PS2. <laughs> For some reason, then my brain went, You can't have too many eggs. Takes Ember off to the side. Oh, it's a, a Sparks minigame. Oh, I was going to say. I was going to say, you're going back to your Pokemon speak. Well, not Pokemon speak. Animal Crossing one. Sure, go in. Let's get an egg. <laughs> right on a scale of uh, from 1 to 10. So far, not much. Like, uh, not much to, like, super duper go on. I would say at least a 7. At least a 7 for now. Survive to the end of the tunnel and you'll be rewarded. Or I need to be careful. Dang it. I probably should have looked at the uh, controls. Probably should have looked at the controls. Get obliterated. We Star Fox now, and that means we never stop holding the button. Everything must burn. The spice must flow! Shit, why are they coming from above? That's fucked. Uh, why did that not go? Everything is weird. Everything is weird. Honest, I vastly prefer Blinx's minigame to this. If I see the spiders, I need to annihilate them first. Man, it's been forever since I played. Like Star Fox. Oh, hey, we, we got a health back. Maybe I should play Star Fox 64 on stream sometime. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. You remind me of your father. At least it was quick. Oh, right on scale from 1 to 10. I meant the pole dancing. It was very pole dancing. Also, why is the loading screen just the Matrix? I thought it was more like the, uh... Like, I thought it was more like the, uh... Mate, like, uh... What is it called? The weird things from, um... Metroid Prime that you could scan. Star Fox Adventures win? At some point, I'm going to give it an honest try. If I ever get to a Star fox a -thon. I got hit much faster because I'm an idiot. My aiming is terrible. To be fair, the, the, the movement is weird. What the fuck, lizard man?
How dare they enter? Why do they have things fall from above? I cannot see there. I do not have eyes on top of my head. Okay, that's just mean, game. That's just mean. I guess I should use, like, the boost, but it's not like they give me much uh, information here. Like, sure, I should probably look at the tutorial, but tutorial reading is boring. Teach by doing game like you did earlier. Plus, I think I only have one speed up. Oh, no, I can just do a super speed up. Oh, I didn't know. Probably should have read the, the controls. And again, with the lack of, like, hit frame or stun frames game. Would be nice. Also, yeah, the lack of the super double beams is very rude. Dang it. Also, it's very mean that the webs are hard to see in flight. Would be nice if they, like, made projectiles coming at you easier to see, but there's lots of visual clutter. And it does feel like some of my bullets that should be hitting the frickin' spiders aren't. Ever so slightly annoying. Oh, come on. Nothing hit me there. I hate... Again, the lack of hit frames game. Give me invincibility frames after being hit. You, you bastard. Oh, it's a minigame. We don't have to have it good designed. It's mostly, mostly the spiders and the visual clutter that's getting me. And oh yeah, the falling lava, falling rocks. Game hit the gun. Game, I'm aiming at him. Fuck off. If I aim at enemy and shoot bullet, it die. As well as, uh, I would like it if the... The, the spider web net projectiles actually were visible mid-flight. Or if the hitboxes were a bit more kind. I could probably have done that too. Also, you're just super fast with your goddamn nets. Very bothersome. It's like the the first one was like, oh yeah, the first level, very nice. Second level, which is the same level, just much harder. Ow, pain. Bone hurt juice. <laughs> From YouTube chat. You remind me of m your father. No will to live, 18 restraining orders, and absolutely no bitches. No. We were in there for so long, I almost forgot that we were elsewhere. But yeah, that was interesting. A little bit too hard on the difficulty a second time around. Nice swimming animation for Spyro. It's basically, I think, a take on the normal Spyro swimming, but still. Always nice to see. Nice animations. Do -do -do 
do do I might as well come down here and kill you, get some gems for our trouble. And then next time we hit up a... A shop. We can take a teleporter back and get the keychain upgrade. Which will be very handy. Huzzah. This really makes me want to work on my original dragon story. Because I have a dragon story cooking up in my brain. Much like the, uh, like, 23 Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stories that I have, like, like, not written down, but, like, the ideas of them written down. I definitely need to do more writing. And then after that, you could save up for the Shockwave upgrade, probably. It, it seems to be the most expensive one. Oh, neat. They, they have another little, oh, no, look down animation. I like those. I do feel, it feels weird that these random swamp crocodiles are taking up so much space as enemies when the Norks are right there. Nasty's Gnorks are right there. I'm going to assume that those are piranhas that want to kill me. Then again, everything seems to want to kill me. And they're very bad at it. But they're very good at creating tension, at least. But they give me no gemstones, no bitches, so I do not care. For some reason, my brain went to another weird place. Cannot be climbed until you have acquired the ability from one of the elders. Ah, oh, it's you. I shall take a teleporter back to Dragon Village. Through the purple vortex of hell we go. Again, it is just so weird that they de-Britishified this motherfucker. Keychain. And I'll stock up on two. And then we will take that. Huh, weird. Hmm. Tropical Cove. Hmm. We'll have to go there, then. Ah, oh, yeah, because it loops back around. Or at least it should. And now to save up for satchels if I'm really desperate and just diddly dee. If I recall, that's Moneybag's kid. That, has no that was not, like, explained to me anywhere. It, the professor just said, hey, go to Moneybag's uh, and buy a lockpick. I just thought that money money bags decided to go and just embrace his cultural appropriation. He he was already wearing a kimono for hardly any reason of his hardly justifiable experience. Ex Again, like money bags is only there for one time in Enter the Dragonfly. Why? Oh, look, it's Hunter. We'll have to see what he wants. Does he want to murder? The, doth thy too wish murder. Hey, Spyro. It's good to see you again. Uh, you see this cave behind me? Well, it looks like you're not going to fit through there. Don't you wish it were me? <laughs> Would you like to control him? What do you mean I wouldn't fit through here? Uh, 
punch the punch the fairy. Punch the fairy. Hmm, we'll have to be aware of that. We can murder. At least Hunter makes some sense to control. He can break steel with his hands. I don't even know who you are, but I'm going to shoot you before you shoot me. I'm going to shoot you from afar. Oh, I can't. Or, well, well maybe we could have. Ah, uh, nope, we're too far away. Hunter, why are you so weak? You can hit with your bow. When did Hunter become so badass? I mean, he has gone on adventures, I suppose. That I am aware of, game. I've been doing that. Don't forget the game rules. There'll always be something behind a waterfall. Except the first one you check. But now this one is all a bit easier to see through. That one's just kind of a gimme. There's a weird delay if you let go and press again on the aim button. Pick up the explosive arrows, and then it just went away. I'm guessing it's the same button as the, uh... Blah, blah, blah the uh, bomb satchel things. So if we want something super dead. Certain wall surfaces can be climbable. Just jump or walk onto the surface to start climbing. Well, if you want me to. Spider cat. Spider cat. It's kind of disturbing. Spider cat. He only goes diagonal for some reason. No one knows. Look out. Okay, now he's kind of going down. He's very particular with going down. Come on, let go. I would like to let go. He doesn't want to let go. He only wishes to go diagonal. Because I'm trying to press jump and he does, he does not want to let go. Because he wants to leave me here, I guess. Karate chop! Hmm, there doesn't seem to be much down there. Seems to be more stuff behind. Will it just be a fall to my death? Well, he is a cat, so I guess it makes sense that he wouldn't be able to <laughs> be able to swim. I forget though. Oh, I did not mean to utterly annihilate that guy. <laughs> Oops. But I forget, did Hunter have, like, bow and arrow stuff in, like, uh, the second and third Spyro games? I forget. I'm just gonna wait for him to come back around here and then I'll shoot him. Ah, oh, you can zoom with it, huh. Dang it, we'll have to wait for the next go-around before we can go and try to get that. Over here. Dang it. Well, at least we know where he comes from. The sensitivity is crazy. Murder is free. <laughs> I 
My bad, Mr. B uh, Moneybags did just so cultural appropriation. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Maybe we can just make that jump. We can just make that jump. Huzzah! But I also want to go to that uh, diddly D that we blew up. That wall. It's like, I underestimate the diddly D. The jump things. Like game, yeah, sure, I know. I already did that game. I'm way ahead of you. I just vastly overestimate the difficulty of jumps in this game for some reason. I have a fear of platforming. Dang it. It's supposed to be explosive arrow. Well, I'm a I'm a fool. Didn't expect there was a hill a drop. Die. Hmm. So I guess I do need blow up -ables. To get you. Let's see. Do the blow up bulls respawn? They do. They do. Shit! Oh, good. You got the loads. Good job, Hunter. Hmm, but what's with these birds? These vulture motherfuckers. Go back to singing to Mowgli from the the, the, the banana book. One hundred and one ways to cook a banana. Can't believe Hunter is a murderer. And these guys are just deranged looking. They're just ready for murder. Hey Spyro, would you like me to go back through looking for a, a dragon egg? Just want to make sure there wasn't like a hidden diddly dean there. <laughs> go. Golem Shriek wasn't what I expected tonight. <laughs> Are you done being awesome yet? Yes. <laughs> Golem does not like his being taken advantage of. Golem wants his eggs. Or at the very least wants dragon mommy milkers. I'm coming for you, Crocodile Dundee. Come up here. Get more gems. All right, so there is a way to charge after doing a double jump. You have to let go of the glide. Now there's only one playable character you've yet to play as. Obviously, it's Ember. Oh, no, I think the trailer, like, opening spoiled that. It's Sergeant Bird. We haven't seen him in a while. Sergeant Birdie. Oh, but we haven't, we can't climb yet. We need to go find the Dragon Man. <laughs> Jesus, Dragon Mommy Milkers from Gollum was not on my bingo card. <laughs> oh, never mind. I let go too soon. There's like a weird in-between realm of head smash and not head smash. Oh, there's a fly. Ah, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be a flying platform for me to miss. Odd. But okay. Now we just have to wait for it to come back, I guess. Is 
we'll definitely use this to go up there and smash that. The camera is very sensitive. Like the dragon mommy makers. Yeah, because we need the climbable to go that way for the shard. Wait a minute. Maybe because we did that, we can head to the upright now? I'm confuzzled. Maybe I just went the wrong direction. Let's see. Oh, that's the secret way. What the hell is this entire place for? Because, well, let's go to the task list. Uh, collect 70 light gems, destroy all the darks. All the dark gems. Um, uh, that's it for this area, I guess. Oh, let's see. Destroy all the dark gems for that area. And that is it. Destroy all the dark gems in Dragon Village. And that is it. Okay, map. Because there's just that little corner there back that way that I, we didn't fully check. That place, but we need to find the Dragon Elder to climb. Hmm. Uh, Crocovile Swamp. There's a little bit to that left we didn't fully explore. And that little cavern area up there, I guess. Dragon Village is a little place down there because we don't have access. A little place that we don't have access. Hmm. Weird. I guess we'll... Because, yeah, that should be the... The da-da-da. I guess we'll try to head down that way and see what... See if I'm just being dumb. Hmm. Well, uh, who knows. Hello and welcome to America's Favorite Pastime. Is it the game, or is Neon dumb? <laughs> what other sort of milkers are you looking for, Gollum? Who knows? All the milkers, probably. Because we already passed by, I guess, because that was the light gem thing. Yeah, because that one is the secret area. I would go rambling about Mommy Milkers as Gollum for the La Humor. Um, maybe... Darn it. Spyro's quickly being eaten alive. Then again, maybe that would be good, because then I'll respawn, then I might be able to go that way. Kill me! I have infinite lives. Remember to stay hydrated as you get eaten by piranhas. Let's see if I can just dive bomb in. Who needs the actual logic? I sequence break. And I can teleport if I want to. Because, yeah. Because I don't think I can breathe underwater. There doesn't seem to be anything down there. Because I think I should have gotten everything down, 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 down there. So that's... Yeah, that should be everything out here, I guess. I guess we'll use the teleporter. Hmm, but then the big question, teleport where? Maybe back to Crocoval Swamp and... See if I can check out, because, like, there's that one place to the far left that I didn't explore, apparently. And then that little dilly day. Back to Dragon Village, you say? Hmm, well, I'll trust your judgment. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro. And spend, spend, spend. 
Take me home. Moneybag Roads. Well, I can't go to that left because it's, like, locked off by doors, I'm fairly certain. Because in here, there's the far left, which is, I'm fairly certain, like, his, uh, his da-da-da that we can't really... Oh, wait, the double jump! That's right, the double jump exists. I am a fool. We'll go buy an extra lockpick while we're here, though. Like, I completely forgot that double jump path existed. Feel free to browse my fine wares. Completely forgot. Because it was just so unobtrusive. Unexisting. I just completely forgot about it. How dare you? How dare you hit me, a dragon, with an axe? Well, first things first, smash this. Hmm. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, you have pinpoint aim, jerk. I wonder if he does it if I get too close. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can hold. Not very helpful, though. They're like, oh, you can use the bombs! If only there was a reticle, like, thing to actually help me do it. Because I'm just doing it blindly, really. And now let's go get this water egg. Fifteen eggs. Spyro is going to be quite the parent. Nineteen. Hello, I've invaded. It's not really that much of a secret. A secret? Secret. Anything else, sir? My own clone! Now neither of us will be virgins. <laughs> Millions in child support. Hmm. But there's definitely more that way. Almost forgot. We just went that one direction. Almost forgot. Because I went through a, this, the secret rock face. And almost forgot. <laughs> this theme is very nice. Very nice music. I wonder if that's timed. Nope, doesn't seem timed. Never mind, it is timed. <laughs> right as I was about to say, oh, maybe it isn't. Bam, it is. One Direction, the band. Nope, One Direction, the direction. <laughs> one die, the, the erection. <laughs> one dragon erection. If that ain't all what the fans want to see. For some reason, my brain went, would there ever be a company that's like, hey, let's make official porn of our character? And I just imagine, like Activision, going, here, everybody, here's Spyro's schlong. The balls they'd have to have. The balls Spyro would have to have.
Oh, that is a thing I can do. Yep, and there's Sergeant Bird. I was just doing everything else before we went to him. Hello, Penguin Man. Sorry, chap, but only birds and Air Force pilots can get up there. And I happen to be both of those things. Right. Shall I take on this flying challenge? Hopefully it won't be a dying challenge. <laughs> Apparently, Twitch chat says, I like Sergeant Bird levels. Well, hopefully it'll be good. Let's see. Tallies and help. Uh, select button to view tallies and help screen. Press X to thrust into the air. Ah, so it's Sergeant Bird's erection we'll be seeing. Let go of X to drop or just speed. Fly through time gates to receive an extra five seconds. L1 to drop bombs. R1 to fire missiles. And then boost. Gotcha. Oh. Not at all what I was expecting. So they are the flying levels of just weirdly controlled. I am feeling weird. The controls are wonky. But fun. At least so far they seem to be better than the... Like, uh, enter the dragonfly stages that there were, like, two of. Take this, evil overlord! Down with the evil overlords! Oh. Destroy them all! Destroy the birds! The missiles will come for you all! <laughs> War on the birds! You think you're alive? You're not! I am the one who's alive! Only me. I like how he just kind of waddles. Now I just need to find, like, the one that I'm missing. Like, over here, maybe? Ha-ha! We did it! Very fun! A very fun time. Well, here you go, Spyro. All I got you was this ridiculous dragon egg. He laid it himself. Well, I can give it another go and see if I can win you something decent. Like a light gem, for example. Sure, let's go. That was a fun time. I wonder if it'll change anything. Probably be more difficult less time. Oh no. And they, like, change things around a bit. Ah. Doesn't seem like I annihilated the evil overlord. I did kill the other bird, right? Probably should have gotten a... a boost. Hopefully this just isn't like, uh... let's make things obscenely annoying and difficult. The challenge. That would be very annoying. 
Because we got most of the vultures and most of the evil overlords. Ah, oh, crap. Where's the remaining circle? I wish everything gave time. Because I don't know where the last evil overlord is. Oh, there's another time thing though that I missed. Because yeah, there's one thing that about this like advanced level is that it feels like it kind of just threw things about. There's you, but I missed the last evil overlord, so I'm fail. Oh, well, there's one evil overlord. And two evil overlords. Ah, now I know where they are. Thank you, Twitch chat. A little weird to put them there. Because I should probably follow this path back to maybe find some of them. The problem of doing this now is that it's possible that the Like, Time Stopper ones will be out of whack for me. So yeah, it was mostly just like a slightly weird placement of things, but otherwise not terrible, I guess. That should have totally been through the ring. I'll have to find another Hidden Overlord, which uh, should be around the same area as the other ones. And I'll have to search for the final time adders. Ah, you're still up there. I missed, though. At least these guys give time. Just have to hope I didn't do them horribly out of order. And miss like... <laughs> nope. We got them all. Huzzah. Not bad. Oh, look, Spyro. A light gem. A light gem. Through the power of murder, he got a light gem. That will be all for now. But I can go back at any time and practice just for fun. Nope. Let's see then. Let's check task list. Defeat Nasty Gnork. Ah, to receive a new breath upgrade. Ooh, very nice. Like that is the one cool thing that, like, uh, ba ba ba. Enter the dragonfly did. They did add the breath up. Well, not upgrades, but the different breath attacks you could do, which are very cool. Just wanted to see. D do I have any? Yeah, just grab one more so we can have it, have it for good. We'll check and see if we are, we'll go kill some fodder, get our health up. You exist to feed dragonflies. And now onwards we go to fight Nasty Ganork, I guess. Ah, and the sky got better. Oh, I guess your flame. That was mentioned. You're just a spiral recolor. I thought I was gonna be trapped in here forever. This way leads to Nasty's lair. Now go and ram his gnarly butt. I've never met you before. Go on, Spyro. Go and teach that dorky Nork a lesson. Very 
very interesting. That you just, like, exist. I didn't even expect there to be a dragon down here. Yep, Flame is literally just the same model as Spyro, just red. Well, I guess we get to fight in Nasty Gnork. Which, hey, at least out of all the enemies from past Spyro games, he's the one that, like, didn't die. Sway those hips. And those wings. Also, he was literally right in front of us before. Oh, hey, a cutscene. This, this is more the, the a cutscene for the story. That's a bit more than Enter the Dragonfly had. <laughs> Spyro, it's been a while since I last defeated you in battle. You never did. Actually, I defeated you. You did, really? <laughs> I don't remember that. I rem I miss his old voice. Man. Little that does it. So basically, you're a modified version of the, uh, that one guy. I forget his name. Aw, oh, dang it, I guess I'm not... It was too late to look up his kilt. So far, pretty basic, but he does have a decent few attacks to his name. Also, why are you working for Red? He imprisoned you in here. You looked sad about it. Then again, maybe he's just dumb. I haven't beaten you yet, though. Dang it. Got hit again. Oh, he's causing things to fall. Nope, can't make, can't ram him to make him... Maybe I should have brought, like, a health, the health restoration. Alright, we double jumped over that. I keep forgetting that I have double jump for, like, dodging. Dang it! Again, it's doing the Sparks minigame thing where I can't see above me. Honestly, he's kind of harder this time. Dang it. It's because I want to, like, save my double jump, but you need to kind of do it instantly. Is kind of the problem. Dang it. Again, I hate that I can't really see about. Well, luckily there's a save point. That's kind of nice of them. Like, maybe we need to stay, look at the shadows more. Not sure if that's, like, the tell or not. Yeah, and they give you a butterfly. They're very thoughtful. You'd think I'd just be able to run underneath his, between his legs and just immediately flame him to death. Why not flame his his feet. He's not wearing any protection. And with how many eggs Spyro is grabbing, he also is not wearing protection. Nobody in this game wears protection. At least none that matters. But yeah, with the amount of dragon eggs that there are, there's a ton of banging going on. He 
She's getting super angry. <laughs> I'm gonna burn your unibrow. Oh, now the generators are up. Uh, I'm guessing that I have to lure him into... No idea how I avoided that last one. Also, my butterfly is gone, it looks like. Oh, dang it. Was not expecting a new attack. Get burned. Also, whatever happened to your, like, magic wand scepter thing that you used to turn all the dragons to stone? Or not stone, but, like, uh, uh to crystal. Goodbye, Nasty Nork. Die. He froze in place. Nasty Nork is a pro gamer. He knows when to die. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. I know that you've traveled far and overcome great obstacles in the quest to save me. <laughs> has, has to speak really fast. So as a reward, I will bestow you some of my electric energy. This will give you the ability to breathe electricity from now on. Wow. Is this breath even stronger than my fire breath? In some ways it is, but it will take longer to defeat enemies. Specifically, it can be used to activate switches and power machinery. Exclude not electric switches and or machinery that uses light gems batteries not included. <laughs> Talk super fast. That amuses me. All right. Once you've acquired the electric breath, <laughs> like now, can be used to activate specific electric node switches. And I know where there is some. Go faster, electric switch. If we move fast, we might be able to find the electric bottom. And the electric top. And I'm guessing that we will also never see flame again. <laughs> yep, he's just gone. But only some. This teleporter started working again. Oh, a teleporter, huh? I think Money Bags already has one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Flame and Ember are literally only one time appearances. And it's hilarious, because if I remember correctly, they appear in a decent amount of fan fiction, so people just like just went and grabbed onto any dragons that of minor repute they could. Oh, so we can go to the realm? Nah, we have things to do still. We might not be able to do that one. Also, it seems like the electric breath has uh, further range. Yeah, but we're going to go to that temple and do that. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. And there you are. Let's see. Trying to remember. Oh, Forgotten Temple, it really says right there. <laughs> yeah, because from my mild browsings of Spyro fanfiction as a child, which I remember like none of, none of them have made an impact on me. Like... Like, the, the only thing I remember is that, like, Ember and Flame are kind of there in some fanfictions. And then mostly, um, 
What, was that an instant kill? That's weird. But yeah, like, Ember and Flame exist in many a Spyro fanfic. But then it was is predominantly... Like, uh, the one that's predominantly there is Cinder. And once I start playing Legend of Spyro, I'll be able to comment more on Cinder and stuff. I like that it's kind of like a, a stun in a way. It's like, they're like, hey, we just gave you lightning, but uh, we're not going to let you lightning this thief to death. It's just like, I just got this new toy, and we're not going to let you use it. But why? Balancing! How dare. I guess that's all there is here. There is one more light gem. I guess we can wander that away. I guess. Because that li the last light gem is probably in that one direction that we failed to really explore, which is more that way. I'm just baffled by their choice to make money bags a racist ish like i don't know it, it feels racist to take like this british guy this british monster oh yeah i, for, I guess like the final one is because of supercharge yes now i'm remembering we need supercharge to be able to do things which means that i do believe we've done everything that we can and we should go on to the Lost diddly 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 Did you ever get the gym by the swamp? I am presuming that that gym uh, by Frog Guy. Yeah, I did. I did indeed. And you can also tell that I had to have gotten it because we have 9 out of 10 gems. So the final gem has to be that uh, whatever is in the temple to the left uh, that you can only get in by going uh, supercharge. That is my presumption. People didn't like British money bags and switched him to this. And then he got switched back because they hated that more. But here's the thing, like, British money bags was fun to hate. He was a love to hate kind of guy. He worked because you gave him money and then you beat him up at the end. To get all your money back. And this just seems like a weird thing. A weird thing to do to the guy. Defeated by that little shrub, Spyro. He is only a dragon whelp. Your master was a useless lump of dragon dust. <laughs> he called him a piece of shit. Imbeciles better get your act together, or you will find yourselves working in the mines digging for dark gems for the rest of your miserable lives. Oh. As for you, this is the first and last time you will bring me bad news. I'm honestly surprised I haven't ever heard of this guy. He got hydrogened. All of you, get out there and stop Spyro. I suspect he's on his way to this realm. And when he gets here, I'll have a little surprise. So I'm guessing each realm will have, like, their general. There was Nasty Nork. There'll be this lady, Ursula, presumably. Ah, Spyro, I see you've hidden safely. Certainly gives the old system a thorough workout, eh? Yeah, right. Like being stuck down a giant drain. Ah, yes. A matter of transportation is still in its relatively early stage. But don't worry. 
Is it really? Like... I feel like we've had, like, dimensional teleporters. Now we're in the coastal region. But I do believe that we shall stop for now, since we've been going for about three hours. We completed, relatively, an entire world segment with a few exceptions for uh, backtracking purposes. And I've got to say, this game is very well done. It definitely exudes the classical spirit of Spyro without overly relying on it or like not adding too much of its own spirit to it. I always got stuck on this area slash world since I either got stuck or the area was too hard. Fair. We'll have to see how I fare. Or if I just roll with the punches. But yeah, since we just got here, this seems like a perfect place to pause for now. And we can come down here and save game. Yes, save game. That way, just in case. But yeah, the mini games are quick and simple, which are very appreciated. Sometimes a little challenging by how much they throw at you, but not terrible. A little annoying with the Star Fox Sparks segment. But yeah, the graphics are nice. It's neat because, like, even though they don't really, like, because... Out of all of the enemies to bring back, Nasty Nork makes the most sense because in Nasty Nork's original appearance, he doesn't die. You just blast him and he goes, falls down. And uh, if you didn't 100% the game at that point, he'll start turning the dragons to crystal again. So it's like obvious that he's still out and about. Whereas Ripto and the evil enchantress lady both got dunked in lava. And I don't know what happened to Ripto in Enter the Dragonfly because I refused to 100% that game. Mm. Thoughts on the uh, Blink minigame? The Blink minigame, honestly, not bad. I think, honestly, I think I prefer it to Sparks. Because of that one, I can actually plan things out. It might, it'll depend on, like, if Blink appears more and what his minigame, oh, like, grows into if he appears more. But yeah, I think Sparks's was just a little bit more difficult, mostly because it felt like I was aiming my reticle and shooting and things weren't dying, but who knows. <laughs> One stream gaming. I don't think we'll be do like doing... Like, even if we went for a long time, I think we would run way over time to try and beat this game in one stream. <laughs> the main reason we were able to beat well, Enter the Dragonfly in one stream is primarily because it was a broken, janky, rushed mess, so they couldn't really put too much content in it. Whereas, I assume that this game will have three-ish, maybe? Well, actually, let's take a look and see, like, uh, of our inventory. Let's go to status screen. Yeah, I'd say that there's probably three-ish, maybe four areas, is my rough estimation. 20 eggs in each place, maybe? Ah, four four areas. 10 dark gemstones in each area. Uh, yeah, 10 dark gemstones in each area. 25 light gems in each area. And 20 eggs in each area is probably what it's going to be. So this will probably be a four-stream gaming. Because it'll give us decent endpoints and won't, like, super-duper force us to do things too too much but yeah i'm really enjoying this the music is kind of underplayed there isn't really any standout musical moments it doesn't feel like it has that spyro vibe to it which even enter the dragonfly kind of had spyro instrumentation here or there but that doesn't make it a totally bad thing it just like uh doesn't feel as spyro musically but it is decent music overall and then, gameplay-wise, it's a nice mix of kind of new stuff and kind of old stuff. 
It has the classic running about, flaming, rushing. You actually have enemies that you need to rush in this one. The gyms are laid out in nice, quick, and easy to grab places that kind of lead you. It's very good. So yeah, we'll probably take four streams to beat this game. So, it's very fun. Very, very nice. Still weirded out that Sparks actually has a voice. And very weird decision to turn de-Britishify Moneybags and turn him into, I guess, like... I don't know, an Arabian Nights money swindler? <laughs> like, his, Moneybags being British was perfectly fine because haha -ha, British greed imperialism that you beat up at the end. Why did they go and be like we need an Arabian in here. It's super weird. It's just, it's just a baffling decision. I do enjoy that there's like no live system and it's just like oh you died quick go back in there. That's nice. That's very fast and fun. Kind of undercuts the difficulty, but, uh, like, it depends. Difficulty is a weird thing. Because difficulty needs to be finely tuned, where either you need to get back into the game quick enough, so that even if you die a lot, it doesn't feel like it matters, or you need to have, like, a fine-tuned difficulty curve where you, like, it feels it. Middle Eastern, I think that's the word I was looking for. Because when I, when I looked at money bags, my brain just thought Aladdin. So I didn't know where to place him without... <laughs> I, di I didn't know what words to use for money bags without being racist myself. <laughs> this is what this game has done to me. Like, uh, I apologize. I am an uninformed American fool. I don't, I don't know that many countries off the top of my head, really. My brain is a cavalcade of random information uh, pushed through the American institution of education. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a very fun first adventure. Like, the only thing that's a little odd, like, but not a bad thing, is Spyro's voice. Because there are times where it does sound pretty good, but then I think it goes a bit too deep. <laughs> Arabian Nights, exactly. And I'm kind of disappointed that Flame and Ember are one-time-only characters. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Considering that they're so far, well, along with Red, the only new major characters, well, I guess major, like, the only new characters that they introduced, I'm disappointed that they didn't get to stick around and help at all. Like, yeah, they're just dragons and Flame was just a recolored Spyro, but why not give them stuff to do? Like, maybe have them be a minigame vendor in each world. Like, Ember would have made perfect sense. It's like, Spyro, I came to help you. I followed you through sheer force of will and love and also the professor's teleporter. Or, if you go over here, you can find a dragon. It's like, stuff like that-ish, maybe. <laughs> Ember does return. Hmm. Like in other games or just this game? I'm uncertain. Because Twitch chat says that Ember... Plus, it wouldn't make sense for Ember to have that if you go to the swamp, I might never see you again meta line, but who knows. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe that's Twitch chat's entire plan. To make me unsuspecting, only to launch Ember at me once again. But we'll have to see. And we'll see next time. We shall pick up our adventures here at Coastal Remains. The like, like, what is the main area called? Uh, I think it was like the Lost Cities or something. <laughs> Out of ra scatter range. Interesting. Yeah, we'll come back here to Coastal Remains on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because I am trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday every week uh, at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. B -b but. If you want more from me, we will, you can check out my link tree, which is linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or a direct link in most places like descriptions, bios, and link areas. 
in my link tree is links to various things. Oh, that's cute, cute idle animation. But uh, in my link tree, there are links to my main edited content YouTube channel. I, I swear, edited content is coming eventually. As well as uh, my streaming YouTube channel and my streaming Twitch. All of these VODs get uploaded to my streaming YouTube channel for posterity and better quality uh, in case my internet dies midstream. The full VOD will exist without any interruption or evils. And then if you want other things from me, like my little character in the corner, bleh, uh, <laughs> I draw quite a bit and upload to various sites. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, uh, I draw similar to this here image for my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon GTI finale or main story finale that was uploaded today on the VOD channel. And I got inspired and decided to put the art up there. It was very, very fun time. But yeah, art like that can be found across the various sites that I post to, and all those links should be able to be found in my link tree. Also in my link tree are links to the story, like, sites that I post to, mostly fan fiction, because uh, I have no idea what to do with my original stories once I start making them. But right now I have tons of fanfics that I'm writing, including my 11-chapter PM uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic that I need to whittle away at. And then finally in my link tree should be my Patreon, which is just a little donation bucket for the most part. So if people are feeling affluent, they can throw dollary dues my way to help me survive the darkness and evil of the world. But yes, but yes, that shall be it for now. Like I said, we will continue our adventures in Spyro's A, Hi Spyro's A Hero's Tale here on Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And, well, I hope to see you dudes there. Thank you very much for spending some time with me tonight. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and stay hydrated. Hope to see you next time. <laughs> the bitter cold, <laughs> help me against the bitter cold of the world, exactly. But yes, thank you very much. Hope to see you dudes next time. And bye-bye.